not sponsored, by the way. Just so we're clear. A few people asked for my thoughts on the new Fuji Instax monochrome square film. Here's the too long didn't watch. I won't be putting this film into a toaster anytime soon, mainly because uh, it's good. I like it. And it's also a little more expensive than regular color Instax film, and it's a little harder to find. Also, when did they stop selling the single packs of Square? Pro 400H and now this? What? What? What's happening? I've used Fuji's Instax Monochrome in wide and mini formats, so having it in square was a very welcomed addition to the family. I'm actually surprised more people on here aren't talking about the release of this film. It might actually be because this shit is hard to find. It's been sold out for a minute. I got lucky and ordered a few packs of it right when someone commented asking me to talk about it, but pretty much since then it's been back ordered. And of course, just as I'm screenshotting this for the video, it's now back in stock, but hey, go, 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 go get some. Instax Monochrome is a a black and white film that features neutral gray tonality and normal contrast with natural shadow and highlight response when used under daylight or electronic flash lighting conditions and its refined grain structure provides high image sharpness and clarity. That's a mouthful, but what does it mean? Well, it's got some nice contrast, it's got some nice grain, it's a black and white film, that's what they're trying to say. And I just want to make a quick distinction here about the monochrome name. Monochrome photography displays a single color or shades of a single color. The entire image is represented by differing amounts of light instead of different hues. So black and white photography is monochrome, but not all monochrome photography has to be black and white. This is... This is... This is... What? This is... Boring. Scott is absolutely right, no one cares about context these days. Let's talk about the photos. The Instax monochrome film has a very classy and almost timeless feel to it. I really love the look, the contrast is wonderfully moody. For these shots I stayed local, I just went on little walks and shot around the area, so nothing too crazy. Shout out to Grounds, which is my new favorite coffee shop in the area. Uh, not sponsored, of course. <laughs> And I took all these photos with the Lomography Diana Instant Square and the Instax SQ6. Review will be coming eventually for the SQ6, but gotta be honest, I don't enjoy using it very much. Similar to Instax Color Film, the Instax Monochrome Film is rated at ISO 800. And speaking of the Color Film, I think it's a good time to compare the Instax Color to the Instax Monochrome. Of course, we'll use a gas station for this example. Hmm, yes, very interesting. It seems one lacks saturation. Alert the scientists, this is a very interesting... I just dropped my phone. Development. Interesting development was the joke there. One other thing I noticed when I was scanning these photos, the new monochrome film has a message on the top that says, don't put in mouth. Uh, I guess that's a, a problem for Fuji now that people have just been eating the color film. In my experience, the Fuji Instax film is super reliable. It works consistently in all sorts of scenarios, and honestly, I don't even keep mine in the fridge. I'd recommend not keeping them in the glove box of your car on a hot summer's day, but in my experience, Fuji Instax is nowhere near as finicky as the Polaroid film. In fact, me saying things like that is what gave birth to the toaster video, but be warned, that is not for the faint of heart. If, if you're not into horrible destruction, then don't watch that video. <laughs> well, I would say this video went really well. This was a success, in my opinion humble opinion. Full disclosure though, Fuji does recommend storing the film in a cool and dry place. I suppose. I suppose. Yes, I suppose. Thank you. While I love the overall aesthetic of the film, there is something I need to point out. The sunspots, I guess that's what I'll call them. This has been a consistent issue with the Instax film in my experience. When shooting into the sun, big thrice energy there, you'll get a black splotch as opposed to the uh, sun. And you can also find this issue present in areas with reflections of the sun, anything that's a really heavy highlight. This has been true of the Instax film since I started using it. The sun is bright. There's some really heavy hitting science there. The reason you smash that subscribe button. According to Fuji, uh, just, just don't take pictures of it. Or put sunglasses in front of the camera. <laughs> okay. But when you compare this side by side to Polaroid, I don't know. It looks like they figured it out. So when you get down to it, actually, I guess in this scenario, Polaroid is thrice and Fujifilm is Lamb of God. And just for the fun of it, here is a nice little size comparison of all the instant films I have handy. Instax Mini, Instax Square, Instax Wide, Polaroid, Polaroid Spectra, Banana for Scale.
And just to round this video off in a very full circle nostalgic manner, some of you who have been here a while might remember my Fujifilm Instax Wide 300 review. Which by the way, 100,000 views, are you guys kidding me? That's that's crazy, thank you so much. But at the end of that video, I went to a waterfall in Connecticut, it was all frozen, I shot some monochrome Instax Wide film on that day, and now we go back. Only this time it's, it's square film, not wide. But it's still frozen, and it's still cold. Apart from the issue with the sunspots, there's really not a whole lot to complain about. Fujifilm Monochrome Instax Square and really the whole line of Monochrome Instax Film is wonderful. You can make some stunning instant photos in a variety of formats. The photos are classy, contrasty, and overall beautiful. So would I recommend this film if, if I haven't been clear enough? E yes. <laughs> Definitely. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this video, and before we get out of here, we're gonna do the feature of the week, and this week's theme was cold, because that waterfall was cold as frick. <laughs> and this week's feature is from pnw.instax on Instagram. It is just a beautifully cold scene, I love it. And an honorable mention to Chris Cohen for this awesome wintry scene as well. I just went with the Instax photo because this is an Instax video. Felt more appropriate. Anyway guys, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, smash that subscribe button. You know what to do. We uh, went crazy on 10k week and then we went for a drought for two weeks, so that's, uh, I think that's a pretty great example of what this channel is. Anyway guys, have a go one and I will see you soon. Bye. According to Foodie, uh, what is wrong with me? This has been, and it, and you can also, and it's refined. As for my thoughts on the new Fuji, a few, a few, I've used Fuji in. Like, like and subscribe. subscribe. Just read your photography. You're